Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you will come back tomorrow. So as you saw in those first couple of clips, we actually switched out our des dentist appointments, Peter and I, and had one for James instead. We were thinking with ours, I was worried I'd be uncomfortable because I really can't lay on my back right now. Um, and Peter was also, he had some cavities filled, but he also needs to get his wisdom teeth out. So we were just like reprioritizing his like schedule as far as like treatment goes. So James went and he had his little weak enamel filled in. It looks so good. I'll try to show it later, but he's still like, he had so much going on this morning. Um, I'm just gonna give his mouth a little break, but I'll try to get a good clip or picture or something that I'll share later. But it looks so good. He did so good. He did cry, um, but he didn't thrash or anything. They were able to do it really fast. So it was a busy morning. So we're just gonna take it easy after that. Um, and yeah, welcome to the vlog. I just left. I was like, Sarah, it's weird. I have one of those days where it's like I have a 30 minute meeting and a 30 minute break and a 30 minute meeting and an hour break. 30 minute meeting. I went in that room, what, like three and a half hours ago? James is rampaging because Peter went outside. I went outside He's to get like... this. This is the uh, Voltrix uh, EFM to EF. EFM to EF mount. So like we need this because that lens we got yesterday isn't doesn't natively connect to our camera. We need this to connect it. Um, but real quick, James like he's just been in this state where like he knows when he's mad and he'll just like close his eyes and just like, make a mess. <laughs> and that's what he does for his little. And now he's lean, he's sitting on the ground <laughs> leaning against my leg like. But now we're gonna go. I have a break. I have one more meeting. Uh -huh. So we have to get in the car and we're going to the suburbs because we haven't seen Christina and her family. So we're going to go see them and have dinner with them tonight. Right? Yeah. Okay. So here is the new lens. 24 to 70. It has right here. So like it's a bigger lens to begin with. Like from this part to this part is the actual lens. But this right here is the, the adapter that adds that much to it. But it's the actual lens is heavier than the body. So the intent is like this will be mostly outdoors. Um, can't wait to be in the theme parks and being able to zoom in a little bit, uh, just a little bit extra on um, some parades and characters and stage shows. Um, I've got our 16 millimeter Sigma, which is our, our, has been our everyday lens, and this is the kit 15 to 45, which is just going to be good to have as a backup for any reason. Goes a, zooms in a little further than that, um, but just the quality and sharpness on that compared to this is hopefully going to be significantly better. All right, I'm gonna take a shot on my cell phone here in a second, but we have the new lens and I, we, we bought it with the intent of more so using it outside. Um, but I'm glad I can still selfie with it inside because it's, it's the lowest focal length is 24 millimeters. Um, very cool, I took a shot of Evie just now and you can already tell there's some, some bokeh with the couch behind it and that was only a little bit away from her. So very excited, so we're gonna get the lens on. We have to get going because I only have so much time before my next meeting. We're just talking how the sky is blue. I haven't seen blue skies in a while. I actually saw this graphic about like Chicago had been without sun for like 40 days or something. I believe it and I hate it. Yeah, but the sun is shining. I got, I got more than you. I got one. Girl. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh! So bang, zoom to the moon. How dangerous. We stand good. We stand good. We stand good. We stand good. We stand 
So have you vlogged at all since we got here? Yeah. Oh, you have? So you've seen, you've seen the people that have been shun, shunned from our lives for weeks? We were saying So we're watching Christmas movies. We are starting dinner over here. We've got some Parmigiani chicken going. We're gonna do Greek bowls. Everything okay down there? I look down and James and Luke are both on their backs. Like. We are gonna have falafel, so I'm gonna bake these in the oven. You want a baking sheet? Next up, I chop some potatoes and they're gonna go in the air fryer with olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and just a ton of oregano. But I'm also gonna save some on the side because it's good to put some on at the end. James and Luca are aspiring to be Wes when they grow up. Our other little toppings are a little stew of mushrooms, greens, and purple, what is it called? Onion. <laughs> I almost said potato, and then I, it would not leave my lips. <laughs> and then we're going to make a little tomato salad with balsamic glaze, salt, pepper, garlic, olive oil. Olive oil. Clean as we go so we're not over long. Exactly. The potatoes are almost done. I made an additional little glaze and I'm going to put it on after because I just feel like it's fresher than sometimes the, the air fryer cooks some of the flavor out. But there's lemon juice, olive oil, mustard, honey, oregano, and fresh garlic in there. Tomatoes are done. Potatoes are done. We're just waiting for the rice to be done. We also have some dips. And toppings like banana peppers and olives to on top. And look at this delicious plate. I didn't show the rice, so there's our little turmeric rice. Do you want a backyard to play in, James? What do you think? Whoa. <laughs> What is that? A book. What is it? It's, it's a diamond. Oh my gosh. It's broken. How did it break? I thought diamonds could never break. And I know who it is. Who? An ant. Ants? <laughs> did the ants do it? What? Whoa, all those diamonds. <laughs> Whoa. Funny, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bubbles. Oh, nice kick. Our, our time at the Sakar is nearing an end. Sakar children yeah. upstairs taking a bath. Mm -hmm. James is playing with his potato head. Did you have a good time today, James? Oh, yeah. I think so. Um, bottles clean, bits clean. Just gonna dry that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Evie. Evie. Hi. She came in from a walk and she ran right up here. Hey. What's she doing? Lizzo reposted Colleen Ballinger dancing to her song. So really? People are, like, Colleen's viewers are freaking out, but Colleen's probably freaking out. You're a Colleen viewer. I've been a since 2010. Uh, we're home. We are home. Teddy's having a dance party and we might be avoiding bedtime. Yeah, what time is it now? It's uh, 9.40. Oh gosh. Um, oh gosh. James is watching some Bluey. 
I thought he'd fall asleep on the car right now. Yeah. Oh, then I'll go get a bottle ready. We can start the process, I suppose. Go, ah. Let's brush your teeth. Come on, one more. You're a good ah. kid. Good job. Okay. That was good. Sorry that that's the best. I've been able to, like, get a look at his tooth today, but I think I'll be able to pause it and you can tell how great it looks. I could probably do a before and after too because I we recently took a picture of his teeth. It looks so good. We gotta be keep it up and be really good at flossing because we just got a weak tooth. The Cubs lost again. Four to three. Right to the weekend, Mm-hmm. Thursday. Thursday. Alrighty. Jamesy is down for the night. Um, he's clearly very tired, but we are going to end the vlog with a quick what is in our hospital bag and new baby diaper bag. Um, just a little segment of the vlog. I had talked about this earlier that we were in the process of packing. Many of you said you'd be interested. Also, I think it's just cool to document. So I will start with our diaper bag. We are going to use the, our new Snow White Petunia Pickle Bottom for in the hospital. Peter is actually packing his portion of the hospital bag right now, but we figured, you know, 38 weeks, I got two weeks until the due date, obviously I could go past, but we should probably just have stuff ready to go. So this diaper bag is actually pretty, pretty simple. Um, we have always loved the Pampers Pure diapers. James has really sensitive skin. I have really sensitive skin. I'm just assuming Teddy is going to have sensitive skin. We know from our experience with James that the hospital will provide so much to us. And really that was a game changer packing this time around, like actually having the experience of knowing. Obviously I'm giving birth at a different hospital being in Chicago compared to Orlando with James. But there are some things that I just want to make sure that I have what I like and that will be these diapers. I do plan on taking home what they provide us and what is given. I will, I'll probably still use, but I just want to be prepared if I'm not crazy about what they provide. So we have plenty of little tiny diapers. And right now the way that he, that Teddy is measuring, um, we should be good with newborn size. And then this is a nursing cover. It's actually so beautiful. It is a map of Neverland by Milk Snob. Hopefully that's somewhat in focus. And in the hospital, I'm a little bit less, you know, I am a very, um, what's the word? I always forget it. Reserved person. Um, but in the hospital, when you're like first starting to nurse, first starting to kind of figure out how things are gonna go, I don't know, I understand at that point that there is this level of, you know, learning how to nurse and talking with experts and things like that. But this, I love this cover for privacy, but also this will be a great cover to go over the car seat um, if need be, you know, to put over to put over Teddy. So this is kind of more so about that, depending on the temperature, just depending on whatever situation. So great for nursing, but also our plan is to, you know, be ready to, to cover him up in his little car seat when we go. Um, we have a handful of swaddles. This one was given to us from one of you and it's so special. Teddy being another rainbow baby. We'll have that. And then he has this little green outfit. I bought this for James. I have a robe that I will show you in the, the hospital bag that with the chaos of James's labor and delivery, we never end up taking pictures. So 
we're gonna try and do that with Teddy. And then we have his going home outfit, which is the same as Jamesy. So I'll put in a little picture of James here. So same outfit that he'll be going home in. We hope to bring all of our kids home in this little like knit, comfy, cozy outfit. It's kind of good for all seasons, but we actually still need to do this. So this is a good reminder for me is that I think, I think it's nice to like give each of our kids a little bit of individuality and so we're not going to do the same hat and shoes for Teddy. We're going to do a different color hat and accessories. So truly all I need to add to this, which perhaps I should have done before this video, is I want to add just some plain white onesies. I know he will, like again the hospital will provide some of those things, um, but yeah clothing wise like all else we're really going to need is like socks. I actually have socks in here um, and just some plain white onesies. And then I I put these in here. We'll see if I even need them in the hospital. But I got some reusable um, nursing pads in case of, you know, leaking. I feel like this will be good when we leave. And then here are some hats. So this hat... This is the hat that James came home in, so I just put it in there in case, like, I went into labor unexpectedly. We would have a hat and blue booties to match. And then that that green um, little outfit has a matching hat. And then this little Mickey hat that will probably just, you know, it'll just be a little simple Disney nod, you know. Jamesy took pictures in that hat, and I think it fit him for, like, three days before he grew out of it. And yeah, that's that's all that is in the diaper bag portion. We are learning from our experience as I, I do feel like we somewhat overpacked with James. I was in the hospital for a week, so I suppose we did, like, we kind of prepared for that situation and then ended up working out, but there were still some things that I just like felt I didn't need this time around. And I feel like especially with the baby, they truly don't need much. Like there's so much that's provided at the hospital. Um, and I I don't have any family who's delivered at Evanston Hospital. That's where I'll be delivering this time around. But I do have a friend who is able to kind of give me some insight. So I feel confident that this is all that Teddy will need and we will have access to our car and we don't plan on Peter leaving us during our stay again like I've talked about this before we are hopeful that I won't be in the hospital as long regarding like actual labor and delivery our our plan is to truly um, just keep things as simple as possible as straightforward as possible be as proactive as possible um, with how things are progressing. And so we truly don't feel like the same, like need to pack a ton. However, like it is nice knowing like we have our car, if we want to pack anything extra, we can have access to our car. And we live pretty close to, like we live in easy driving distance to the hospital. So that, that definitely helps as well. All right, and now our hospital bag. We are using this bag we got from Primark. It's got little Mickeys on it. Um, and we have talked about, like I just said, like having some backup stuff in the car. We don't want to be like lugging too much stuff up. Like we were talking about this in our last experience, how we had like just like a couple, like a lot of bags, and there's like when you're going home. You're trying to get everything organized. You're worried about the baby. Um, all of that. We just want to like really keep it simple. And if we need to, we'll have whatever in our car. So for Peter, he's just got clothes, comfy pants, some shorts. His is basically like really just clothes, comfy shorts, comfy shirts, just like plain shirts nothing fancy socks and then I am bringing 
some of my nursing bras that I already have. Um, and then this, these are um, nursing shields that James used our entire breastfeeding journey. So I remember being at the hospital and asking if I had these and they did provide them, but I just like felt in that moment like I should have had them. And now that I know, um, I'm gonna bring my own. So we got new ones of these, which was exciting to get nice and fresh ones. Um, this is the Frida Spritzer, which I mean, if you're, if you're are aware of what happens during labor and delivery. This brand I really like compared to what the hospital gave us because of this angled, you know, bit that it really just helps, you know, the angle when you're trying to do what you gotta do. No matter if you have a C-section or if you have a vaginal birth, like you're going to bleed, you're going to want to feel clean, you're going to want to freshen up. So this is a great, a great tool for that. And I haven't bought any like postpartum, like mesh underwear or pads or anything of that nature. I know that the hospital does provide a lot of that. And I think it just takes up a lot of space in your bag, bringing it there. And so, you know, we're, we're confident in our VBAC, but you just, we just like don't know what's gonna happen, what we're gonna need, and all of that. So to start with, I am comfortable with what the hospital provides, and then once we're home, I can reevaluate what we need. I know that the Frida Mom brand has a great postpartum kit that has different ice packs and all, all sorts of stuff that has had great reviews. I've had a lot of people tell me from their own experience that it's great, it's the same brand is this as well as a lot of different baby um, items that we've used. They're a great brand. So as far as that, I'll keep the vlog updated with what we do end up buying and what we end up liking. Um, but again, I, I just feel like I learned from with James that I can rely on the hospital for those postpartum things. Um, I actually, again, this is from with Jamesy. I didn't end up wearing it because I, I ended up being in more of like a medical situation with um, like our long induction and eventual C-section. I will link our like birth story vlog here if you have not, I don't remember which corner. Um, if you're not aware, cause I keep on kind of like referencing James's birth and it was just a lot, it was extensive and um, yeah, so if you're not aware of that, we tell the full story in a vlog, so I'll link that there if you're interested. This is basically just like a, a medical gown, but again, a little bit more comfy. I don't know um, what our situation will be, if they'll allow me to wear this, but this just kind of like is a comfier nightgown available. Like I can nurse, it, I mean, it's basically just like a medical gown, but is way more comfy. And then I have that robe that I was talking about that I intend on actually taking these pictures this time with the babe and actually just using the robe for its purpose, for being comfy. And then I had recently shown the matching jammies that I got. So a top, shorts, and joggers. This is more so for after James is born and I don't have to be in any sort of gown. Um, James is being born? Did I say James is being born? <laughs> Teddy um, is being born. And then this is the dress I I hope to wear home. It's just a plain comfy black dress. I do want to be aware of like what I wear to the hospital, which I think would just be like leggings. Honestly, probably this comfy cardigan um, and a t-shirt that I'll get to rewear. But again, we're keeping it simple and we're going to rely on like maybe even just packing like <laughs> if you just got comfy on the clothes um even relying on an additional just like tote bag with like basic leggings a couple shirts a couple of comfy things just so that we don't have to bring everything in at once but have access to it so that's pretty simple i mean our bag is 
really simple. It's mostly just our clothes. Um, if there's anything that you swear by that I don't have, or um, if there's anything that you just highly recommend, or someone else is recommended to you, leave a comment below, please. Because we still, I mean, we're we want to be prepared to leave at any moment, but we still have time to add stuff. So, and we'll also probably share what will like camera gear we'll be bringing when it gets a little bit closer because we don't have that packed. But that stuff is like easier to just like just like throw in a bag if we need to. Excited for another baby? Toiletries, super important. Super last minute. Look how crooked that that lamp is. Much, much better. But yes, toiletries will be thrown in a bag at the last minute. Now I'm in total like, what am I forgetting mode? Again, we want to keep it simple, but I'm just like thinking. One thing that needs to go in Teddy's diaper bag is mittens. And then as for me, I was just thinking back to what I had packed last time. I know I had socks, which I, I, I need to pack socks, maybe slippers. I don't know. I like don't remember wearing them. I remember I wore Halloween socks because we were in the hospital on Halloween. But yeah, I think that might be the only thing I can think of right now that I need. Again, comment below if there's anything that you um, suggest. Peter may or may not be getting something. Um, we just live too close to a place that provides mozzarella sticks this late at night. I'm just saying. Um, and I'm going to continue watching Loki because I'm like halfway through episode five. I think there's six episodes and I need to finish before Friday because that's when we're going to see Multiverse of Madness. I think, I think that's what it's called. Um, so real quick, I will do the message by Carl Sagan. Modern science has been a voyage into the unknown, with a lesson in humility waiting at every stop. Many passengers would rather have stayed home. Wow. Well, I will sign off. Just me. Thank you so much for coming along today, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>